Eric, thank you very much indeed for that talk. Uh, I'm personally delighted to have been able to find something that Eric didn't have. The HP95C, which was never released, solutions book. Because Eric had managed to find a 95C manual. It wasn't released, but it was ready for release when it was canned. Uh, and the manuals had been printed. But obviously no one had a manual because it wasn't released. And Eric managed to get a manual, but I had a copy of the solutions book. So it's nice that there is still stuff out there that some of us have got. Yes, thank you. That we can uh, give to Eric. So thank you, Eric. Um, conference proceedings as well. Uh, we will talk about uh, having an archive of books that you will release in future. That, that's great as well. Uh, I want to thank Eric, but all the speakers. It was great today. Uh, and thank you all for being good listeners if you weren't speaking. So that's terrific too. There are two pieces of cake left at the back, if anybody wants them. I've still got copies of Recall 20. Um, I don't know if everybody who wanted one got one. Several people gave me £20 for them and I didn't have £5 to give back. So um, if anybody wants their £5 back, I've brought some £5 notes today. Uh, did everyone who got a copy pay for it? Because some people I think were under the impression that these were freebies. Uh, I'm really sorry, but, but they cost us money to print, so... All oh, right, okay. Right. <laughs> I think I owe you five pounds, don't I? No. No? All oh, right. Okay. Someone here yesterday asked me for an, if I had an HP 67. No, they said they wanted an HP 67 and I offered it. I think it was probably me, because I was... Uh, yes, okay. Uh, I, I, I just got the HP 16 All right, and thanks. HP 12. That's what I Okay. Um, I'm sure I've got a spare at home, but I got home so late last night and I left so early this morning I didn't look for it. Be in touch with me, chase me, and I'll see if I can find one for you. All right, okay. Yes, you do have my phone number. You phoned me yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yes, okay, right. Okay, um, we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the club. The first two issues of Data File weren't called Data File because it was only on the third issue in October. 1982, that we decided the name Data File. So we are celebrating today almost exactly 40 years of Data File as Data File. And for more than 20 years of that time, Jake has been scanning and putting on his ROM collection. Well, it was originally his di tape collection. No, his disc collection, wasn't it? You never put them on videotape because you, know, you had the conferences on videotape. Um, can you come up and show us one of them, please, Jake? Um, because Jake's brought some with him today. Uh, he's giving them away for free, but Jake sells normally on the web CDs with these scans of our... Um, USB. It's, USB. it's now USBs, of course, yes. And he has brought in to our club more than $3,000 for them. So we wanted to say thank you, Jake. But in fact, we wanted to say more than thank you. We've got a present for you. Is it a bar of gold? We were told that Jake does not yet have an HP 97 in his collection. You're right. Open oh it up. Goodness. Good grief. I'll tell you a story about this in a moment. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. If you press the print button, it'll make noises and it'll print something, but not very well. Well, okay. No. Oh, yeah. No. No, all right. Okay. And uh, the card reader does not work either. But there is a guy in the United States called, I believe he's Adam Smith, or is he Andrew Smith? who repairs things for a price and he has promised to repair yours on condition that we mention him and it's recorded so it's just been recorded so Adam Smith who repairs calculators will do Jake's for free now this one has a long history Jeremy Smith who is one of our club's earliest members but who has lived on the west coast of the US for 45 years he joined our club by post when post was the only way to communicate he and I then communicated electronically on BitNet before anything else existed. Uh, we swapped messages. 
Uh, and he's been in touch with the club ever since, but he recently decided that he was going to get rid of most of his calculators, and he sent them off to somebody in the US, and they got to Bob, Bob Prosperi, and Bob Prosperi, who is now a remote member of our club committee, <laughs> said, isn't it time we gave Jake something in exchange for having done so much work? So Jeremy Smith's donated HP 97 wow. with all the goodies goes to Jake as an expression of our thanks. Uh, Adam Smith will fix it for you. Uh, and uh, I hope to visit you in Tree Hill sometime and, uh, and have a look at it going. That'd be great. So, so thank you so much, Jake, for all your work over all these years. And I, please keep if going. I could, if I could have a 10 second comment about Jeremy. Okay, uh, and anybody who hasn't got one of these, Jake has still got them. Okay, look to you. Philadelphia had their second PPC conference in 1992. Jeremy couldn't attend, but he asked if he could send an article for the proceedings, and I said, certainly. And he sent his, the original version of his article, his famous article that some people should know. It's called The Handy Dandy Pocket Demon, HDPD for short. And it's this amazing article. It's maybe 12 typewritten pages. And we have it in our proceedings. And then later, it ended up in a data file. And it was broken into four, sec four sections, I think, and ended up in like four consecutive issues. Um, but maybe it was essentially in 1992, he foresaw the iPhone. He predicted the iPhone 15 years before its release. And he describes in there a scenario that having a device that's got you know, wireless connection, kids can do their homework, it's got a dictionary, it's got, you know, everything, communication, the whole works. And it's, it's pretty amazing how accurate he was back then as to what, what, you know, what we evolved into. So. Jeremy Smith still visits us. He's, his mother passed away a few years ago, but his siblings are still here. Uh, he developed Parkinson's, ooh, it was 10 years ago. I remember him ringing me and speaking stern, Jeremy, is he hiding or something? <laughs> because it, that, that seemed like Jeremy's lifestyle. Uh, but it wasn't. It was him developing Parkinson's. He refused to take the drugs for a while, and, and then he started taking them. He's doing pretty well. He was here a couple of months ago. 2008, for Val's conference, he was doing better. Yes. He suddenly started the medications, and he was doing much better. Yes. Yes. But I think it, it only lasted for for a few years on his heart, and it slowly gets worse again. But he's with us, but he, he has given away his connection. Wow. Wow. Much appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. And, and thank you to Mark for having arranged to get 3D prints of the batteries, so we've got new batteries for it. Um, I think that's about it. I, I thanked everybody. Um, I've said that there are cakes there, I've said there are equal 20s. If anybody's interested in other books or something, let me know. If you want to play with the HEPAX module, it, it's still here, nobody's taking it away. And thank you for the HEPAX module, that was wonderful. Okay, but now you can get stuff from Angel Martin. And I think I just invite you to our monthly conference meetings, which are held in this building, until and unless we get back to Imperial College. How thank you. The, how about the group photograph? Mark and Bruce were very instrumental just as in getting the book out, so, so in getting uh, us to run the conference. So I want to thank you both, and do either of you want to say anything? Otherwise, we are going to tidy up. There is a bar upstairs with Polish beer and with English beer, and anyone who wants to carry on talking, we can go up there. If somebody has to go home now, goodbye. Otherwise, I hope to carry on seeing you for a few more minutes at least. Thank you. Thank you.